Hey everyone, I'm David, and today we're taking a quick look at the Noble Basie. This is a 12-hole transverse ocarina with a pitch range of A3 to F5, which some makers that use that pitch range call this a tenor just to fit within the other ranges um, in the Asian system, but Noble does call, it, call this their base. It weighs about 1 pound and 5 ounces. And here's a size comparison with the Focal Link Alto C, which is plastic. In the front. Okay. And with the standard number two pencil. This is a rising airflow ocarina, meaning that you blow softly on the low notes and increase the amount of air as you go up the, the scale to uh, remain in tune. And um, it's probably one of the larger and heavier ocarinas in my collection. Um, like I said, it's a, a little bit over a pound, and it um, it does take some getting used to um, the weight. So the more you practice, the better it is. And if uh, if you're feeling like it's a little bit fatigued in your wrist, and you can definitely have some more rest periods. But the more you play it, the easier it does get. It does not have a glaze on it. It's burnished. Um, the only part that is glazed is the mouthpiece, which I really do like because that's the part that does make contact with your lips. So if you spill any sort of liquid on the ocarina, there is a danger that it might be stained. It probably would be less noticeable on this particular finish because it does come in two different finishes. It comes in the black charcoal-like finish and also a more beige, um, yellowish color. The black finish is more expensive. It's about 20, 20 or $30 more than the beige um, finish. So if you're interested in saving a little bit of money, you might want to not get the uh, the black. Although the black does look pretty cool. The other feature I like about this ocarina is it has this katana-like end, which is really unique to, uh, to Noble Ocarinas. Most of their 12 holes have the same type of end, and uh, I just think it adds a lot to his character. It does come with this um, carrying case with that's made from imitation leather. You can see the Noble Insignia right there, and it has a dual zipper on top that you just pull it down, a Velcro snap, and inside you'll find this piece of foam inside just to keep the ocarina snug, but it does have a padded wall on either side, and um, if you keep the foam inside it does keep it pretty snug. So I'll just show you what that looks like there. Now if you don't want to use this for your Noble Base Ocarina, you could probably squeeze two or three other ocarinas in there as long as you have it divided in between. But it also has this carrying handle right here which works out very well. Some of the pros for this ocarina is that it has a great full sound with a bit of a shift to it. Some people really like the pure tone uh, of certain ocarinas like Focal Links, but I happen to uh, prefer a little bit of a shift in my tone, which I think this ocarina is great at. And this is probably one of the most, if not the most affordable, 12-hole base C ocarina um, on the market. Most of them probably range between two and four hundred dollars. This one probably retails at about one fifty, not including shipping uh, internationally. Um, some of the cons is that it does not have a hole for a neck strap, so you have to be really careful um, when you're uh, performing with it. Make sure that you're over um, some sort of carpeted area or you've got a firm grip on it for the most part. The high F on this ocarina is a little bit difficult to hit. If you do not use the right intonation, if you're not focusing the air just right, it will start to squeak and I can uh, let you hear what that sounds like. That's with not using the right intonation. So it does take just a little bit of time to um, to practice getting the high F. But it is possible. The final thing is that these finger holes for the pinky, left pinky, and your left middle finger are a little bit big. They're about 3 8 inches um, wide and 5 8 inches tall. So you can measure your fingers just to make sure that this ocarina is going to work for you. And these are a little large as well, but those shouldn't be a problem since you just use your thumb to cup the entire thing. And now for a quick sound sample with a song that has no reverb and a song that has reverb.
If you have any particular questions about the soft green, please leave a comment below. Subscribe so you know when the next review comes out. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. I'll see you guys next week.